So today we're gonna to be painting vertical siding. Bear in mind, this wall has not been fully prepped. Um, it still is in need of additional scraping, sanding, and priming before paint can go on. Uh, so we'll start at the top, work our way to the bottom, and then across the wall. Um, you gotta work fast to maintain a wet edge, which is important if it's drying. If it dries too fast, if you try to do too much at once, then it ends up drying, you'll get lap marks, and you wanna avoid that. Um, so the tools that I like to use uh, for cutting in and painting the groove of the T111 siding is an angled sash brush. I like the three inch. My wife prefers a little bit smaller one, uh, reduces hand fatigue for her, but you know, you don't want to use too small brush. You, know, you got a lot of surface area here. The bigger brush, the bigger the brush, the better. So it's all how much you can handle. And it works great getting into the groove of the T111 siding and cutting across the top and the bottom where the siding meets the soffit and the ground. Um, you have a lot more control of where the paint goes with this brush. And then as far as doing the, the, the body or the main surface of the siding, you can use a, an even larger brush that holds a lot of paint, will cover the whole area and you can really uh, cover a lot of square footage quickly. On this particular project, I would, after cutting in the top and bottom and painting the groove with a brush, I would use a roller. And if there's two of you, one of them can be cutting the cutting in in front of the person with the roller and you could run right across this wall in no time. When it comes time to start painting, the first step will be uh, to prime. Um, and as far as primers go, uh, I prefer to use an oil-based exterior primer, which can be top coated with latex, no problem. Uh, or the only latex primer I would ever use is a Mad Dog primer. Uh, it's a brand name and it performs outstandingly. It's a, amazing stuff. And I've become, been using it more and more over the years. I was always, always just oil-based primer, oil-based oil primer, but Mad Dog has definitely uh, uh, found a place in my, in my repertoire of, of uh, primers. Okay, so as far as uh, weather goes, paint, you, you don't want to paint when rain is expected. Um, within 24 hours, they always say on, on the cans, but you know, certainly 12 hours uh, would, would, be a, would be a good rule of thumb. Um, especially latex paints dry very quickly. Um, Oil-based paints and primers are, are resistant to water. Anyway, so unless, unless they're getting drenched, you're not gonna have a problem if it starts raining, you know, 45 minutes to an hour after you've applied it is okay. So just stop, stop in time to give yourself a little breathing room, let the paint set up a little bit and it'll be, it'll be fine. Um, temperature above 50 degrees. There's low temp paints out there that you can paint down to 35 degrees, but it takes forever for them to dry and it just allows more things to get bugs to stick to them and lawn mowers to come by and shoot grass on them and it's just, you know, it's just not a good idea. So 50 is a good rule of thumb. Um, if it stays above 50 uh, overnight, you're, you're safe. Okay, so when it comes to a top coat finish paint, um, I prefer to use Benjamin Moore or Sherwin-Williams or Cabot products just because I have a, uh, a long history of using them and know that the, the quality of the product is, is there. Um, but most paint lines have a premium product that are pretty good. I've used premium products in the Glidden line and in the, the Bear line that, that were fine. But, um, if it's not the best they sell, then you're taking a chance and I've used some horrible ones. And so um, just, most professional painters will steer you towards Benjamin Moore or Sherwin-Williams for sure. So an exterior paint job um, will give you at least 10 years of, of uh, service if it's prepped properly and applied correctly and quality products are used. Uh, and I say 10 years, it might not seem like a long time, but um, there's always one side of a house that needs to be repainted before any of the others, and it's usually the south side because of the sun exposure. So I tell my customers, you know, after five, six years, we should be looking at maintenance painting. You know, even, even after a complete job is done, you want to stay ahead of it. So, you know, take a walk around the house, take a look at it. And generally the south side, you'll see 
horizontal surfaces, especially window sills, top of railings, um, decks. Decks are almost an annual one, two, three years at the most. You'll have to uh, you'll have to pay some attention to your decks because there's just there there's no products out there that that'll, that'll last ten years on a deck. The key to a good paint job is preparation, and you can't skip any of the steps. And preparation's key. And if you do the prep and you buy quality paint, you'll have a paint job that'll last a long time and that you can be proud of.